Zero is the most underrated operator in Six Siege. Not only he brings four camps that can provide info and do lots of other things, which I'm gonna show you in this video, he also has Gun 6 that he can take care of utility like shields and bulletproofs. He has two secondary garbage gadgets so he can open the wall and two drones for more info. On top of that, you have the best gun in the game. This assault rifle has 50 damage if you run external barrel and 800 fire rate, and the recoil is not that much. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some small tips and tricks with this gadget, and then I'm gonna show you best camp spots for different maps. Let's get started. All right, for the first tip, as you see, when we want to shoot the cam, we have two arrows on our screen, which means the cam will go through both surfaces. So VIP side, and also it can see this side. But if you shoot it on this wall, then the cam can see only outside. And if you shoot it absolutely nowhere, then there are two lines, no arrows, which means the cam will probably get destroyed, or you can get an info. For the second tip, since you're above, when you shoot your cam, the cam actually won't go through the other side, right? And the defenders can't see it. So you have to turn it first to the other side. And as a defender, I can see your cam now. And for those of you who are just wondering, what if we turn the cam back? Can they still see it? Yes, they can. And if they shoot it, your cam is just gone. Another tip I want to give you is that let's say they're penthouse and theater, which they are. And they're tricking this VIP wall with Kade or Bandit. And Ace is outside waiting for the barriers to get removed. And what you can do, obviously you guys know that, go below and get rid of the Kade charge or Bandit charge, yeah? But that's not the problem. The problem is when you shoot your cam and turn it around, the defenders can actually hear it and see it and they just shoot it immediately. What you have to do is shoot one cam on this side and another one on the other side. And you can actually switch both cams at the same time. It doesn't matter if you have peers, which means going through the floor or whatever roof. And what you can do is press switch and and just pay attention i'm gonna press switch and go to the other one like this right and the cam will just switch for itself there is no animation cancel you don't have to be in it to switch it just switches for itself i'm on this cam this cam is also below and i press switch and switch and both of them go to the other side super quick and the good thing is now the kade or whoever is playing here shoots this one for example and you have this one boom you get the kade or bandit charge i'm gonna give you a lot of tips and another one is that you can get rid of mute jammer yourself if there is no one playing inside vip because mute jammer range is not really high it goes from this corner to the middle and goes to the right side it doesn't catch the top so you can actually shoot your zero cam on the top and then switch it over and if there's no one here to shoot it you can look down get the jammer and open the wall now let's say we have used our zero cams for info or getting rid of the mute jammer opening the wall etc etc and we don't need these two okay so there's a shield there by theater there are two ads's by the hatch no one can get it what you can do is just burn ads bam another one right and then bring out your gun six and get rid of the shield how people use zero cams for flank watch is also really bad so they take the whole area and they throw a cam on top there or right there or they just throw it on the wall what they actually should do is shoot their cam on this spot and then when they switch it over they can see kitchen hall they can see courtyard and they can see the white stairs flag okay so they get more info like this rather than just like drawing on top of the white stairs which only sees white stairs you can get the most out of zero if you shoot your cam as soon as you spawn because usually defenders are reinforcing they're setting up they want to roam they might not be close to your camps to shoot it so if i spawn i for example shoot my camp there easy busy switch it over and we can just like see a defender just like walking into theater hall and he doesn't notice he didn't hear the cam and that's just free info free kill let's talk about zero camp spots first of all coastline we have these drone hold spots right here there's another one there, there's another one by White Stairs, and we have Aqua. So you can just throw your cam there. It doesn't get that much info, and I really don't like them. But if you want to, okay, let's say White Stairs, you throw it, and then you can see bottom of the White Stairs. But as I told you before, you can have another one by Kitchen Hall, Bathroom, Courtyard, and see White Stairs flying as well. For Clubhouse, if you're attacking CCTV and cash, you want to come into stock for your first cam right here. This one's under the cash desk and behind the back, so they have to come close and go prone to shoot it. You can get info by the cash door, rotation, and hear sound if there's someone behind the green box. Second one, you want to throw it by the door in the middle. You can actually throw it a bit further if you want to. And this one is also under the desk. It's covered from the cash door. You can shoot the bandit K charges and get info if someone is swinging the bridge, if someone's closed door, or if someone's in garage. For attacking downstairs, you can actually throw this one outside of uh, exit door. But if you come close to main stairs by this um, footprint right here, you can actually shoot the default cam and replace your cam um, with the default and see hallway, moto, and back of armory, or basically AKs. And last one is right here. 
when you spawn by this side and they're defending gym for example you can throw your cam up there and shoot the bandit charges from all the way here if there's no castle or zombie and etc switching over to bank it doesn't matter where exactly you want to throw the cam so when you spawn here you can throw it there or you can actually throw it by atm right there so you can see front desk for example see by banana if you want clear view i just suggest you just throw it like that and see where it lands just by the cam so you have info by the whole lobby you can see banana you can see front desk you can see meeting on uh, lobby stairs you can see if they want to come down lane lobby to shoot you while you're grappling and as you see i'm standing by this trash can just a bit further and then i was like aiming towards the middle of the window or if you just come a bit further and open the skylight windows you can throw your cam in the corner of um skylight you have info on bottom of the square you have kind of on the top as well you can hear sound this being in the corner makes it less visible to guys on the janitor hall so they cannot shoot it by there or border you can place some easy cams from outside in spawn so this one you just have to come right here for your cam and then you get info into office by the office window then there's this one instead of a server room so you have to throw it exactly in the middle square what you get is a cam under the desk and you can see kind of sandwich you have info on closet if someone is playing inside um, box or closet whatever you want to call it well they just hear it and shoot the cam but this is just, just like the best cam you can get the other ones are just too exposed if you spawn this side you can throw your cam by skylight so you can see catwalk like this and also see the flank but you just have to be active on it so nobody crosses but let me know what do you guys think about this one and last one is by half fall inside armory so you just have to jump in shoot the cam in the first square if not you can throw your cam from outside but it has to be on the second square and what you can see is basically the whole army by sandwich box store metal but as i said before this cam is a bit too exposed the other cams are also exposed so they might hear it they might see it and just shoot the cam on cafe there's a really cool cam by new hatch which you can see also piano so if you stand somewhere close to the reception door and aim exactly there so you see i'm aiming like in the middle of the window and then you shoot your cam it goes under this sofa um, chair basically and you can see the new hash flank and you can see piano you can get rid of mute jammers and ads's if they are placed and yeah the good thing is that you can just like spawn come here throw your cam and there's no one just to like go prone here and shoot your cam there's no one close you know what i mean now if there's a mute jammer placed on the wall i told you before you can just drop the hatch shoot your cam above the reinforced wall and their mute jammer range won't get it so you can just look down and get the jam but if there's a k charge you have to come down here and then just go prone shoot your cam you can turn it around and then you can see the wall you can get rid of kade or bandit like this and it's not exposed to anyone it's at piano now if you're attacking downstairs technically you can throw your cam all these surfaces that you can play vertical as long as they don't hear it but where i like to throw it is so you see the first one i threw it on the door frame but a bit further, you can have this beautiful cam exactly on top of the fan and can get info by the small bakery, by the double door, by coat. And here's how it looks like. If you are playing on chalet then there are some spots by fireplace and those are the best ones that i found this is just like a normal cam if you place it right here so you can watch the blue and fireplace but instead what you can do is just throw it up here and then you can get rid of bandit charges or k charges and you also have a flank if you switch it over but if you're attacking downstairs then there's another spot right at the fireplace door right here as you see this cam is well hidden and you can kind of get info or sound behind back of pillar or by blue door you can get rid of maybe bandit charge if there is or mute charge and last one is also for attacking downstairs which is right side of this sofa so if you take the edge just a bit to the right about right here where i put the cam and if you switch it over we have the info into side by blue door we can see the wall we can see closed door you can see back of bitter i think this is a good cam because it's in the corner top here and maybe people don't hear it or don't look around here especially with all the gunshots or like uh, how busy they are on site picking trench site so that's why i think it's a good cam or oregon if you take small tower side you can shoot one of your cams under the bed which is if you stand on the door frame right here it's kind of like on this spot okay and as you see we are kind of under the bed you can see maybe kids door we can see 
behind the bed. If you want to shoot it from here so you don't expose yourself to white or Z, it will be right there, okay? Then you also have another spot, which is right there. If you throw it on this spot, or if you come from Z hall, and then throw your cam right here. Then as you see, you're kind of by the window and the rotation. It's really good so you can get rid of the bandit charge or K charge. Jump in from this kitchen hall or green hall window into kitchen, right? And then if you place your zero cam kind of in the middle of this hood or whatever you want to call it right here, it goes under the bed. You can see the rotation, attic rotation, you can see the kids door. If they hear it, I mean, they can just go prone and shoot it. But as long as it's under the bed and it's like not on top of something, it's a good cam. Switching over to Villa, what you want to do is open this window, bathroom, uh, which is below the 90, jump in, shoot a cam here. And with this one, you can get the 90 cam. And you have info by 90 hall, or books hall actually, and wolf hall. It's not as good as other cams because, as you see, it's exposed. So they might be just crossing, shoot this cam, easy peasy. But for the second one, you want to drone actually art studio and piano, and then get into piano and throw your cam right here. So. How can we say it is that when you enter the first square that you see the second one and kind of in the middle then your cam is actually under this desk by study so this one covers the flank and get rid of maybe um elo charge sometimes i place sometimes bomb eyes for my disc if you are attacking aviator and games let's imagine that the side is not here and it's actually aviator games so when you text uh, master site and astro stairs and whatever instead of placing your cam here or like inside astro to watch the flank then you want to come into trophy and you see this desk or whatever it is right on the carpet on the edge you throw your cam switch it over and get the cam and then you have the flank and also you got the cam and that's it for today's video hope you guys found it useful and actually you can use these cams in your rank games make sure to like and subscribe and i see you guys in the next video